Good morning, lovelies. I have a channel message. Pay attention to what comes to the surface right now. Things and people are being weeded out, but not for no reason. There may be people in your life that do not wish you well, but still smile to your face. Be careful who you share yourself with, especially your dreams. If people are being extricated from your life at this time, it is for a purpose. It is because you cannot get where you're going with that energy attached to you. It is holding you down, holding you back, essentially holding you hostage to an old version of yourself. Allow yourself to let go and surrender to a greater path, one unencumbered by the weight of these people or situations that are no longer in alignment with you. I had a dream last night that someone was very envious of me and spent all of their time watching and analyzing me instead of working on bettering themselves. Pay attention to your dreams and heed their guidance. If you are given reason to doubt someone, whether through a dream or through your intuition speaking to you, please make sure to listen and take the necessary steps. This is no time to be questioning the path. Things are rearranging in your favor, but only if you walk in faith and keep cutting out what no longer serves you. Never look back, only ahead, while remaining focused on the present. So, if you're in my collective and this resonates for you, that probably means that you're being prepared for something big, a bigger step, you know, a step up, a level up. And if there are people or energies or things, circumstances, I don't care, right, that are around you that are no longer in alignment with this version of you that you are trying to step into, it's going to hold you back. It's going to keep you stuck. And you might feel at times a sense of like a pull, almost like something trying to pull you backward or pull you back into an old version of yourself. And if you get this feeling when you're with somebody, that's not a good sign. That's essentially your guides, your intuition trying to tell you that that person is trying to pull you back into an old version of yourself or that they simply cannot hold space for who you're becoming. Pay attention to things like how people respond to your wins. Are they excited for you or do they try to make them seem smaller, diminish their worth and their value to take you down a notch? And if they do, these aren't people for you. These are not your people. You need to find new friends. And if they're family members, unfortunately, you might need to take a break, perhaps even permanently, depending on your situation. But don't overlook that version of toxicity in your life. If you want to get where you're going, where you're supposed to be, where God is leading you, right? Again, if you're in my collective, you're going somewhere. You have big plans, right? You're working really hard, diligently on creating something for yourself. <clears throat> do not sacrifice it for anyone or anything and don't let anyone make you feel small don't make anyone feel let, uh, don't let anyone make you feel less than you are by undervaluing you by under celebrating you by trying to take you down a notch or two because they're jealous of you these are not your people and even if it's something just as simple as them not being able to hold space for who you're becoming they don't wish you they don't wish bad things on you. They just can't meet you there because they haven't carved out that space within themselves yet. You know, people can only meet you as deeply as they've met themselves. And if they haven't done that inner work, they're not going to be able to really meet you there. They're not going to be able to hold space. And I hate to tell you this, but where you're going is going to require you to completely reinvent yourself. And that means having space to do so. And for most of us, that's going to mean cutting out most of the people in our lives. It's your choice, of course, whether you want to walk this path. But those of us who are serious, you're going to start having to cut these people out. And the thing is, new people might keep showing up to test you. That's what's happening to me. I've already cut out pretty much everyone from my past because I had to, not because I wanted to, trust me. But new people keep being put on my path to test me. Spirit's testing me every time. And I'll, I'll admit, sometimes I haven't listened. And it's taken something happening for me to really wake up like, oh no, this is happening again. Because there's a part of us that wants to get complacent. Especially if we've been lonely, right? It's like, oh yay, I've met somebody. Listen, to heed your inner guidance. If you have a feeling of anxiety, of heaviness, of a darkness when you leave their presence or when you're with them 
especially, that is not the person for you. And most likely your guides are trying to tell you something deeper. That that person doesn't wish you well. That that person doesn't really have your back. And I've had to learn this the hard way on more than a few occasions. And it's because most of us in my collective believe the best in everyone. We see their potential, right? We see their heart. We want to believe that everyone has the same pure heart that we do. But that's not so. And like that dream last night, some people are so focused on finding things to envy or to be jealous of, which is a very dark energy, by the way. It's not something to feel proud of. If somebody's envious of you, it's, it's a dark energy. You don't want to be connected. Yeah, my, my hand just twitched. Five, five, five. Sudden changes. You need to cut these people out of your life if that's really what's going on, okay? So, there's uplifting messages coming through. Big time. But we have to do the necessary work in order to get those rewards, in order to get that level up. We have to start lightening our load. And this is a great time to let go of old thought patterns, old beliefs, old people who are holding us back, old situations, old stuck scenarios, old jobs, anything that represents the past version of us that cannot hold space for who we are becoming. And it takes strength, it takes courage to walk this path. It's not for the faint of heart. And those who are serious know that already. But it'll be worth it in the end. And it's all about service. This path is all about service. You're letting go of these things and people so that you can serve God. You can serve your community in whatever way you came here to do that, okay? It's serious business. And I'm going to smile because at the end of the day, you know, it is whatever you want it to be. It is whatever you create it to be. You have angels and guides with you always helping you. Just ask them for help, right? Ask for guidance when you don't.